Welcome to Masters of Debate. This is a weekly podcast where we argue issues that do not matter, do not exist, or that we just don't care about. But we will defend them aggressively, and we will defend them passionately with honor and vigor. Each week, a debater proposes a topic that has not been previously discussed. We haven't gone over it. We haven't prepared for it. So we have to form opinions off the top of our heads right here on the spot. And I am joined, as always, with my two friends. Uh, go ahead. You could go first this time. All right. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Anna Vinarchi. You guys are so polite. Yeah. yeah. We're feeling congenial tonight. You're so polite that I don't even, don't even introduce yourself. Okay. All right. Never mind. No one's going to know who you are. <laughs> never mind. I'm Nick. Nick Byer. Hi, Nick. It's so good to see you. It is so beautiful and quaint to see you. Ooh, it's so me? bucolic. Do you guys like you? to see me? Mm. Um, mm. Okay, Nick, how do you take care of the eyebrow hair between your eyebrows? I've never had a problem with that. Never? Okay. I plus. I'm generally, I am not an extremely hairy person. You're not? No. I mean, like, in, not, like, generally speaking, like, chest I hair, not much. I feel like I've heard that that's not, not true. back hair. There's a lot of butt, butt hair. Yeah, that's butt hair is sort of an issue for me yeah. as well. I don't do anything about it. I just, like, there's nothing I could do. If I shaved, it would be terrible. <laughs> <With age> and- <laughs> So I got to really pay attention to that. And I get one eyebrow hair that grows like three inches long if I don't pay attention to it. Um, really? I have a chin hair. You have one? I have one about? black boy chin hair. What do you do just, about that? You pluck it? I absolutely pluck it. And the worst is when I'm like at work and I can like feel it rearing its head and I'm like, ooh. And then I go <laughs> home. Feel it come in? It must yeah. be huge. How <laughs> thick? Of, what's the diameter? It's is? not long, but it's just. Big. It's I'm like ima- three inches. I'm imagining wide. one of those, um, like little play doh toys where you put the play doh in the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That's exactly what it's like. Disgusting. How big is your pore? You must get stitches. It's a big time. <laughs> <point. laughs> but the worst part is when then I, I am at work and I feel it coming in, and all day I think about going home to plug it, and then I go home and I forget, and then I'm back at work the next day and it's a little longer, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> there it is again. Yeah. I'm gonna be who I am. And admit to you that I pluck my eyebrows. How much do you pluck them? Uh, whenever I need to. And um, so, like, but like probably do once you every three pluck, weeks. Do you pluck just between or do you, yeah, shape, yeah. do you shape them? I don't shape. I just get the, the nasties out in between. And they come in <laughs> almost as thick as yours. It's <laughs> really, really. Plato brows. Choo choo! What's that? That's my train song. That sounded like a wolf. Mm. Well, either way, we've arrived. Imagination. Imagination. Imagination Station. Station. You jumped the gun. I'm sorry. That's okay. Excellent. Uh, this is a segment where we uh, discuss our really weird and dumb ideas that we've had throughout the week, and we either shoot them down or we build them up. Simple or as that. Or we shoot them up. Or we shoot them up our veins and we get high <laughs> on them, baby. Let's ride tonight. Let's party. Let's party on my idea. I've got an idea. <laughs> Bring it in. What if businesses had pledges of allegiance? And it wasn't wow. like, it wasn't like to the flag. It's like do whatever you want, and it could be equally as creepy as the Pledge of Allegiance is. Because do don't we think like the yeah. Pledge of Allegiance? Is kind of I crazy. give my life to Yelp dot com. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To have and to hold it, it's until almost, I die. It's almost like vows. Sure, yeah, I mean, take it that direction. The Pledge of Allegiance really is intense. Did y'all both have to recite it every day as a student? Yes, yes. Except I did too. School. Schools don't do it anymore. They no, don't do it at all. That's a hot what? debate that we won't cover. We're never yeah, going to do That's too that. topical for Too us. much for us. No, no, yeah. I I that is a hot that. debate. Too much of it. So is it a good idea? What do we think? I a business think bi- a lot of businesses do, you know, their mission statements, <clears throat> yeah, right? We yeah. exist to provide the best My cell company, coverage yeah. to the southeast corner of what, Iowa. What company is that? Um, Sprint. <laughs> <laughs> probably is that. So you're saying that every every day in their little pencil skirts and their little dockers, Everybody stands men and cubicle. women are standing. Are they crossing their heart? Yeah. I mean, that's uh, it's privatized. And the government can't get in the way. I mean, they can't. The if point. it's privatized, they can make them get on their knees. Yeah, they can say whatever they want. They have to bow down towards like the central H- headquarters of that company. Towards just the accounting department. Yeah, that's right. The, the can, I, can, I see, the money. <laughs> can I have a, can I see a scene really quick? Yeah. Okay. Where, um, Ian, you are the boss of a, um, a, a company that makes um, ceramic cats. Okay. Right, that's your company. Yeah, and is an employee, and she is learning your company's um, pledge. Hey, Cami. Um, I'm just, just really quick. I walk. just want to say I'm really happy to have this opportunity to work here, and I'm just so happy to work for you. But go ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, I just really want to be just right. 
Yeah, I mean, you were, if anything, overqualified. You came from a huge investment firm. I, I don't know why you took a step in this direction, but we're glad to have you nonetheless. Well, the reason I, I took a step in this direction was I just felt like where I was working, it was just too, like, loosey-goosey. There wasn't enough direction. There wasn't enough okay, um, you know, I'm gonna commitment. S- I'm going to stop you right there. I, I'm hearing a lot of this, this yap, yap, yap. Uh, this, if you couldn't see, this little ha- mouth motion I, with my hand. Thank you for that description. Keep going. And what I need a little bit more of is violently throwing your head back to say the allegiance to the uh, ceramic cat okay in the on the ceiling can you remind me what is the first line of pledging my allegiance to this corporation yeah pussycat kitty cat we love you we're not formal but we do it true and that's because we have a business pussycat, casual pussycat, environment pussycat, here we love you we don't do no it. no okay i'm sorry <laughs> scene <laughs> Um, you you really flinched just now. I right? did. I I thought you might strike me. <laughs> uh, okay, so why's the, why's the the ceramic cat mascot of the company just mounted to the ceiling? <laughs> was it lifted like on a? Like um, a... I, I think it uh, it was probably stapled there, <laughs> haphazardly, and it's it's like a golden thing. I'm kind of yeah. uh... good bad idea. What do we think? And then we'll move I could not that it's necessarily a good or bad idea. I could see things moving in that direction. Okay, so you're you're on the fence. I kind of hate that. Make a decision. I th- but it, here's the thing: I think when you work somewhere, like there's an inherent like thought that like you're gonna follow the the rules. So oh, yeah. why not just make it formal? Why not formalize that and say like, yeah, I'm here to follow the rules. Just I'll say these things. Yeah. Because when you show up here nine to five, you are you I'll have sp- pledged your allegiance. It kind of you. It's reminding you of the company values. Yeah. And if you care about the company, you care about the. Company I think it's values. a good idea. I'm on board. Wow. All right. right. I'm a little surprised. I don't even think it's that good. Okay, I have an idea. Yeah, what is it? May I? Okay. Um, I think your idea is good. Moving on. Thanks. Um, (laughs) What about my idea? All right, you know, um, for (laughs) maybe the elderly or people maybe with like a walking disability, how in their homes, um, they'll have like the little chairs you can sit in that carry you up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want those everywhere for everyone. Oh, man. They'd be so crowded, though. So just an uh, escalator you sit on? Ooh. Yeah, but they'd be very fast. It'd be fast. <laughs> yeah. Would it be, be like exciting? You'd have to you'd zoom. Like, zoom. You'd have to strap in. Oh, so it would be like a thing of like, you wait in line for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wait in line for your ride. Is it still like There's one? no more escalators. Are Everyone they... just gets a, a buggy ride. <laughs> a <they> single <laughs> fast lift down or up a flight Yeah, of but stairs. like I want apartments to have them. Like I don't ever want to walk up flight a stairs of... Again, are they all like, elevators do this? Uh, but this, that's true. I've got over that though. You I think see- we all need to revitalize the the, the transportation of flights of, of 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 stories. Okay, let me ask you this, and this is important: Are they all like that medical grade off white color? <laughs> yeah, you know they what I'm are. talking about. They're like, they're they like all blue, yeah. but they and a blue in there though. <laughs> yeah, like there's there's, and then blue. there's like one weird blue one that's like sky blue, but yeah. it's still off. It looks old, even though it's brand new. Uh-huh. Can there, if you have these, can there be? This is a job. We need jobs. Right. I'm going to there's, create jobs. There's an older woman who works there who stands there, and when you get on it, they just yell at you every time to say, "That's not a toy." Yeah, yeah, someone can yell at you because that's, that's a that's a safety comfort thing for me. I imagine like the way like a toll booth worker works. There'd be like a, a booth, someone <laughs> in a booth making. I hope driving. toll booths. I hope toll booths. Make, toll, <laughs> I hope toll. I hope toll booths. I hope uh, toll booths make a comeback. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> Future. I hope they make a. I hope toll booths make a comeback. I have an idea. Can you say that oh, wait. sentence? I I hope toll booths make it. I hope, that's hard. I hope toll booths. Toll booths. No. You, that was put on. No. Come on, crow. I hope toll booths. It is hard. I hope toll booths. Toll booths. I want to. Toll booths is hard to say. Okay, what's your wait? Hold on. What do you think of my idea? A uh, bad idea. Why? It's just bad because we have idea. elevators and escalators. That's a good idea. I used to ride around in my grandma's little rascal. You know, like uh, those are those are great ideas. So oh yeah, for, that, for great. that reason, I I think it's a great idea. Like medical stuff that helps you get around is fun. Go yeah. on. Okay, Nick. Uh, so this was an idea someone shared with me that I just liked so much. What the hell is it that I wanted to share with you guys to see what you thought? Um, tandem exercise bikes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Great idea. So, I just immediately the thought made me so happy. That's a fun Why can't idea. you just put two exercise bikes next to each other? No, you can, but it's just something about the inherent joy of a tandem a tandem bike yeah. has a unique experience. It's have you ever rode a tandem bike with someone? Yeah. No. It is it's, so, it's funny. So, it's I've never so been fun. asked to. You laugh the whole time because it's, so it's just sad. so it's so <laughs> 
That is so sad. No, I've never been invited to ride Okay, I want to see a scene really quick. Anna, you play yourself, uh, and you're standing at a park by yourself with a tandem bike, like, looking for cute boys. (laughs) And Nick, you're someone walking by, you're a cute boy walking by. All right. Oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh. I mean, I, I'm you, sorry. You this bike is is cumbersome for one person I mean, to you, manage, and I that's why I slung it into you on um, accident. Uh, thanks for apologizing. I mean, it it didn't really hit me that much. Oh, I just I'm still just so sorry for. Uh, what are you up to? Um, <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was I was going over to uh, my buddy Dan's. Uh, uh, he lives. You know, he lives. Is like he two expecting blocks. you soon? Um. Yeah, I'm like 15. What do you, you know a quick you way doing? to get there? Um, from here to there? Yeah. I, yeah, I was going to walk. Well, I know a faster way. Well, my, Please that... get on this bike with me. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to keep moving here. See? <laughs> uh, yeah. I love I've still never been on a That's really bike. Sad for yeah. Um, but it is a funny experience. And so imagine, you know, you exercise with a friend all the time, right? Um, yeah, but when I, I think the thing about, I was thinking about a tandem exercise bike, you have the opportunity where you can each have your own kind of work or whatever as i was thinking the only downside is like what if someone's doing all the work that's the thing about a tandem do you bike actually know and what a tandem is? no i don't, I don't <laughs> it has something to do with rotation and a uh, lever okay. it's foot pounds <laughs> <laughs> i know what it feels like can <laughs> i modify your idea but i was saying you could if someone is doing more of the work that's part of the joy of tandem. i want to hear the modification yeah what's your i want to see a tandem elliptical <laughs> oh damn you just that's what's up. That was a high five. That's time. like those um, like cat- <laughs> caterpillar walk team building at a camp. Okay, yours is fine. The tandem elliptical. Case closed. Great idea. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was teamwork. This is what but we you, build on I like the other. idea of a tandem elliptical, but there's only one set of handles. <laughs> yeah, so the other person has to grab their hips. hips. Behind or, or their hips. I love that one. Imagine a tandem. <laughs> there's only a tandem one available at the gym. <laughs> the only the elliptical <laughs> available at the gym <laughs> is a tandem. Hey, uh, do you mind if I get up? There's already somebody get in? Hey, man, do you mind if I, uh, you should mind if I hit this with you really quick? Uh, I would just put my backpack on the back yeah. so people know not to sit there. Imagine a tandem treadmill and you just have to a run a tandem treadmill. That's someone else. Any said. treadmill is a tandem treadmill. Yeah. Right? You yeah. You're just chasing someone. I love it. Okay. Well, okay. So I'd say that's three good ideas, right? Yeah. You shot mine down. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea. Thank you. Let's move this right along. Let's keep this moving, people. Uh, this next segment is our main segment. This is the segment where we debate a topic. I am the debate topic presenter this week. That means um, whatever premise a topic for the first time. That's what that means. That's what it means. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> okay. I am presenting a topic that these two have not read about. <coughs> we haven't discussed it. We haven't gone over it. Uh, and I will assign them each one side of the debate. And we have to own it. And you've got to own it. We got to. Own we it. have no idea what we're about to debate. Okay, we live in Chicago. We live in Chicago. This is a city that's famous for so, so many, so many things. What are some things Chicago's famous for? Uh, the hot dogs. Hot um, dogs. um, being flat. Yeah, being flat. That's what that we're known for. But it is true. We're Big old right. beans. Nope. The bean. Oh, the bean. Um, the bean. Yeah. um Harry Carey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're missing big ones like pizza. Oh, pizza. <laughs> this is the second city, and it's called the second city because it burnt down to the ground in 1872. I would love for you to argue whether or not the Chicago fire was worth it. Was it worth it for the city to burn down to the ground? <laughs> we are debating, is was... <laughs> Was this traumatic, devastating event... Was it worth it? Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> worth it to who? Worth it to Okay, so before we choose... No, that's for the debate. That's what I was wondering. Before we are assigned sides, we are going to ask some clarifying questions. Please do. Yeah. So I asked, worth it to who? And that's kind of That's kind of up to, like, I'd Part of our argument formation. Yeah. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Was it actually 1872? Yes, it was. Did you just throw that out? No, as a Chicago Segway Tour guide, I had to know that city. You made up a lot of information. Yeah, but that one was true. 1872. Look at it. I'll, I'll look it up right now while you guys are you asking don't have clarifying to, questions. That's fine. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think I. Under, I think I'm. I get. I mean, the premise is pretty there. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. It, was it was it worth it? I mean, was it worth it? It. 1871. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you just made up a date. I didn't. That's very close. 1871. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. Uh, Nick, you you don't think it was worth it? 